Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with your review on the brand new Star Wars The Black Series, Star Wars Ahsoka, Ezra Bridger in his Lothal outfit. Now, even though he is in the Ahsoka line, he probably should be in the Rebels line as he only appeared in the show in this outfit as a hologram. We didn't see it in color, so it doesn't really make sense for him to be in this line, but I won't deny getting this figure into my collection as the original Ezra Bridger figure is not as good as it should be. This one is a huge upgrade and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. But other than that, let's get into the review for the brand new Ezra Bridger Lethal. Now, as always, before I go over the figure, I do want to start off with the packaging. He is, of course, in the Ahsoka line, like I mentioned, and he is 02 in the line after Ahsoka, and then after him is Sabine. I think he should have been 03. It would have been better to have Sabine next to Ahsoka, but not too big of a matter nonetheless. On the front, we have the Black Series logo up top, Star Wars Ahsoka in this kind of teal color, Ezra Bridger, Lethal, warning, don't choke, 4 plus Hasbro. On the bottom, like I showed in the intro, there we have the price for the figure at Games stop canada as well as some legalese below that and then on the side the main thing i want to go over of course as usual with the black series is the mural image he does look quite good there and like i said he is next to ahsoka and sabine there we have his name down there below nothing really up top besides lethal just a very nice image nonetheless on the back his bio reads ezra bridger lethal said after the fall of the empire ahsoka follows former jedi knight ahsoka tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy now like with the kenobi show all the early figures from this line have the exact same bio, so I probably won't go over it with Sabine and the other ones. Nonetheless, like I said, he is 02 in the line. There we have some legalese there on the bottom. There we have the image that was on the side on the back. Nothing on the top and nothing on the bottom like I showed earlier. So let's get into the Ezra figure himself. Now for accessories with this Ezra, we do of course get his gun as well as his iconic Season 3 and Season 4 lightsaber, which now, like with the Rey Skywalker situation, is Sabine's lightsaber. At first, I was kind of not a fan of that, but now that he has a new lightsaber, which is way better than this one in my opinion, because it looks like Kanan's, that is just very wholesome, as he kind of looks like Kanan now in the Ahsoka series. But nonetheless, these lightsabers, I were going to say, are identical, but there is actually a decent amount of difference with them this one was with sabine and it does have more black on it i guess just black in general this one kind of has a gun metal gray i don't know which one i want to say is more accurate i'd probably say this one i don't imagine the black being this prevalent in live action but then again i could be wrong now like with the other one you can take the blade off and attach it just like so now for his gun i believe this is the exact same sculpt as han solo's blaster for some reason don't remember him using this in the show i'm pretty sure he did if it was included but still definitely an interesting inclusion nonetheless now this is a little bit of a problem he does have a holster which you would think is for the gun and it is for the gun but it doesn't really work the furthest you can get it in is like that normally the end of the gun would be sticking out or at least at the very surface of the bottom of the holster but it is a little bit further in than it should be and it is quite loose in there and that's because of the scope here now you would think that you could put the scope in but even if you did the back Back part here kind of gets in the way so that is a little bit of a gripe with this figure with me is the holster and the gun how it goes in the holster but still nonetheless not too big of a deal and you can put that in his trigger finger just like so and it does look quite good for the ezra figure himself like i said he is pretty much from season three and season four of the rebels or at least the design of this costume is but it is supposed to be from the hologram the very short scene that we did see that hologram from the ahsoka show and like with all the animated figures turned into to black series they are kind of supposed to have a live action take and even though this is technically live action it is pretty much identical to the tvc one coming in the ghost that one is of course just shrunken but there is kind of one glaring problem that at least stands out to me with this figure transitioning it from animation to live action and that is regarding the hair it should be a lot shorter he should almost look bald uh, but in the show he did have hair like this in the uh, hologram still i would have liked it to be a little bit shorter but that doesn't really take a lot away from this figure and i do have to say now that i have this figure in person the likeness is way better than i was expecting i saw some people get it and i saw some reviews and i was like 
ugh, that seems very mass produced, which yes, certainly it is. But you know, I would hope for a little bit better with the line of Black Series, especially with the price that you are paying. But now that I have it in person, I can assure you that it is a lot better than the original photos that we saw. And he does have the scar, which he did get from Vader, I believe. I'm pretty sure he got it from Vader. I could be wrong on that. And this is based off of the live action actor, which I don't know his last name, but I think his first name is Amon. He did a very good job in the Ahsoka show, and I can't wait to see more of him in future Star Wars projects. But with that being said, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding the head sculpt. Now, moving down to the lower half of the figure, starting with the torso, he does have kind of a Anakin Skywalker Clone Wars inspired armor here on his chest, and that does look very good. You do have some silver there to represent dents and to represent that it is, in fact, metal. On the back, though, you don't have any paint continued whatsoever, but that still is a very nice piece. And I did look at how it looked in the Rebels uh, show before I made this video and it isn't identical but it is damn close in my opinion for the arms these really remind me of like a rebel x-wing pilot or just a pilot costume in general the arms look very similar to that so i do like that aspect on this figure now on this arm you don't have anything really going on but on this one you do have the comm link which i believe is what he recorded his hologram on to sabine and the rebels crew and you do have some very nice paint there added nonetheless although the white there seems to be a little bit off but nothing too crazy nonetheless now he does have the brand new style of butterfly joint i will get into that later but i thought i would mention that quickly for the rest of the torso not a lot much more going on you do have the darker kind of brown here and then on the back it is very plain just orange nothing else really going on you do have a line going down the center but moving down to the legs here the belt kind of starts it off and that is quite an interesting belt design now that i have a closer look at it it's kind of like a skirt, I want to say. Not really, but it goes down both sides equally, which is quite uncommon in stars, at least to my recollection. Now, you would think that this would hinder the articulation, and that was a huge fear that I had with this figure when it was revealed, as the first Rebels uh, Ezra figure was very disappointing to me, mainly for the articulation at the legs, or lack thereof. But now that I have this figure in person, I can assure you the articulation is a huge upgrade over the Season 1 design, and just in general is very very nice for a Black Series figure. The belt doesn't hinder it whatsoever. In fact, it kind of just pushes the belt to the side. This side, though, gets kind of bowed, so you probably won't want to go past about there. This side, though, you can kick it as far as you want, and it does not really get hindered because the holster is kind of weighing it down. For the rest of the legs, you do have these two lines going all the way down, and then they do stop at the boots on both sides. On the back, you have a line, I guess, on his ass. Nothing too much more going with the upper legs. On the bottom, though, you have some kind of armor, which is, at least in my opinion, reminiscent of the Sabine lower legs here, at least to me, they look pretty close to identical. I guess not really. There is definitely some similarities though, nonetheless. Besides these two lines on the knee pads and the two lines on the feet, there isn't a lot much more going on there. No battle damage or anything. You do have two kind of dots on the side here and a line going down nothing too crazy but other than that i think that's all i have to say with the ezra figure so let's get into his articulation now like i already mentioned the articulation on this ezra is way better and a huge upgrade over the previous version but anyways the head does go back about that much forward that much side side and there's your full range wow that is crazy how much movement they fit on the heads of these kind of modern Black Series figures. You do want to keep in mind, though, that if you do this too much, it'll just flip the neck peg around and the crease, which is supposed to go on the front, will uh, go towards the back. So just keep that in mind that this is supposed to be in the front. But other than that, that's all for the head articulation. Now, for the butterfly joints here, we do have the newer design, which I don't think I've reviewed a figure with this design yet. I do have a bunch more coming, though, with it. That is kind of the style that McFarlane uses with their DC figures, just the full 360. And in general, I think I do prefer that over the older design, just adds a little bit more of movement that we didn't have there previously, but still, I guess in the grand scheme of things, not too big of a difference. Arms go down that much, full 360. You do have single jointed elbows, which go in a lot more than 90. Now the hands go up that much down that much in full 360 at least on this side this side is on a vertical hinge whereas this one was on a horizontal hinge so this goes down up and full 360 ab crunch goes forward that much back wow decent amount side side and a full 360 there is your rotation with the ab crunch and the head oh wow he just did a full 360 uh the legs kick forward that much 
back splits like I already showed upper thigh cut which is nice to get as they are kind of going away from that which I don't know I'm kind of undecided how I feel about that single jointed knees that go down exactly 90 you do have rotation there of course and then the ankles go up down and beautiful ankle rocker pivot now first for comparisons here we have our brand new Ezra next to the previous season one slash season two design that I was mentioning now this figure is okay but in my opinion kind of gets soured by the leg articulation or lack thereof they used a really stupid design here which doesn't allow him to kick forward at all back or really to the side i don't really know what they were thinking so when i got this figure i was waiting for him for like three four months i ordered him with hera as well as the uh ahsoka from rebels i was very disappointed when i got this figure especially because he had some glue on the face and that kind of just ruined the head sculpt so i am very happy to have this one in person now next up here we have the new ezra next to the ahsoka as well as the hu yang figure here we have my favorite comparison that i'm probably going to do being the new ezra next to the Thrawn or at least the Archive Thrawn as well as the gaming grades mainly should have been in the Rebels packaging I'm just happy to get it nonetheless old master Darth Maul I believe that's what he's called and these are all the same outfits that they wore when they were on screen together nothing here is really inaccurate I guess Thrawn should have blue hair but not a huge difference nonetheless here we have the new Ezra next to the deluxe Rebels Zeb Aurelios as well as the chopper from the Rebels line as well which, in my opinion, this is the new one. He should have been in the Ahsoka line. It would have been awesome to get a uh, chopper in the Ahsoka Galaxy Packaging mural. But still, nonetheless, I guess it is good for collectors that didn't get him to have him back in the line. But these all look really, really good together, especially Chopper next to Ezra. Finally, for comparisons with the Ezra, here we have him next to the Ahsoka series Sabine, as well as the Ahsoka series Hera and Chopper once again. Now, lastly, for my final thoughts on this Ezra Bridger Lethal figure, I am very happy to have this in my collection. Like I mentioned numerous times, the previous one was quite disappointing. And even if you do have that previous one, I would recommend this figure. He is just a huge improvement over that one. And yes, even though this wasn't the technical design, the main design that appeared in Ahsoka, I still think this is a phenomenal figure to add to your collection nonetheless. Now, for my rating on him out of 10, hmm... He's definitely going to be up there, but I do think the hair kind of does hold it back and maybe the holster as well. So I think I'm going to give him like a 8.5 out of 10. I think that is a fair rating for this figure. But as always, let me know what you think of him in the comments down below. Do you like him? Do you not? Are you planning on picking him up? Are you not? As always, start a conversation and I will try my best to respond. But until my next video, I have, of course, been Jagger Collector. He has been Ezra Bridger, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Whew.